Muslims do not allow themselves or others to be oppressed. And this is a problem when you're the oppressor. Um, you can blockade, you can embargo, you can starve, you can amass military might against them, and yet they still fight when they perceive themselves or another Muslim nation being oppressed. I mean, look at Yemen. Yemen has very little, like they don't have enough food. They are one of the poorest countries in the world. And yet, there they are, blocking weapons from moving through their strait. And I'm sure American leaders are thinking, what else can we do to stop them? They are fanatics. Oh, okay. So they're fanatics because they're fighting back with nothing and with very few resources. And same with Palestinians. Why can't we defeat them? It must be their religion. And their religion is therefore bad, suspect. And that's the message that Americans have gotten for decades, for centuries, that we uh, have the right to oppress and you should just lay down and take it. <laughs> and as I read the Quran, I realize that the fundamental difference with Christianity and Muslims, and again, there are a lot of differences and there are a lot of similarities, but the thing that strikes me the hardest is that Muslims fight back and the powers that be don't like that. And thus they demonize Muslims and Muslim countries in the media and brainwash Americans and probably, you know, other European countries into believing the same thing.